How's it going, Bucket Army? I guess uh, that's what I'm going to say from now on. Snow replays, and we're back with another volleyball serve tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the... What, what is it called? The, the mid-air flick serve? Something like that. But um, let's just get started. Let's just get started with it. As always, if you enjoy this video, smash the like button, subscribe. It always supports your boy. Uh, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and start this video. So what the hell is a midair flick serve? Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like as always. And it looks something like this. If I can pull it off first try, at least anyway. Yeah, so it looks something like that. And what happens is when you do a normal serve like this, right? That's just a normal spike serve, right? But in this one, so just before you end up jumping, you turn and then you glide towards the ball really fast. So if you put it all together, it kind of looks like this. Um, in, in a way. Wow, that's... That's... <laughs> aimbot. <laughs> but yeah, what you want to do is spawn the ball, set it like always, doesn't really matter you could set it with mouse lock if you want to and then you run back and then as soon as you hit like this area when you run back you turn and then you jump and glide to where you want to aim it uh I'll, as always i'll probably include like slow motion clips of me hitting the surf so that you guys can understand it much better uh in slow motion so just do it a couple more times here. There's another. There's another. You could do this on the other side as well, so. Like that. Um, also, there's a rush implementation of it, so if you know how to rush serve, uh, like this, you kind of do the same thing, so you go like that after you rush so my leans are getting messed up <laughs> my bad but yeah the, the mid-air flick serves is not really a mid-air flick you're not doing a mid-air flick it makes it look like you are but the reality is that you're not flicking a mid-air what's happening is you're simply just turning before you jump and spike it Like that. I keep missing. Uh, let's try that again. It's actually a fairly easy serve if you know how to just do a mouse lock serve like this. And then you just turn around and spike like that. Because that's basically what it is. You're just turning faster than that though. You're just doing this instead. Yeah, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. That was just the regular spike. So but the faster you turn, the more it will look like you're turning in the air, basically. Um. So the rush version is actually much harder because you have to run back, spawn the ball, mouse lock, turn really fast, and then spike it. So it looks like this. And see, even I can't hit it because it's just hard. It's just that much harder. There we go. I hit it, but I hit the net because my lean timing was too slow. That's another important thing. I'm always going to cover this with each serve is when you want to get it over the net, make sure your leans are well timed because if they're not, you're going to end up either hitting the net, make it hit the net and go over or just sky it somewhere else so make sure you get that timing down uh for for just even a basic serve so just try doing this first before attempting this um and try make it so that it doesn't hit the net see as you can see i messed up my timing there a little bit i usually serve to the right so when, whenever you set the ball i usually set it not straight 
Because straight means that you're limited in terms of movement. Like you're gonna, you would need to end up doing something like that if you wanted to set it straight. That's why setting it a bit off to the side of where you want to aim, like come from. So because I set it to the right, I can come from the, the left side of the ball to spike it. Same if you want to go left, you do the left like that. You'd set it off like this and then flick. Like this, flick. Yeah, it hits the net, see? There we go. That, that was a good example of a mid air flick serve. So, yeah, I don't really know what else you guys want to see in terms of volleyball. The next tutorial is probably going to be an airline tutorial. But basically, that's it for this serve. There's not really much else to cover for this serve right now. Because, again, it's just like you, s you set the ball. And then just before you jump, you turn. And spike it. It's pretty. It's a pretty simple serve compared to the other serves. Like the Mary Suki serve, it's called now, apparently. Where you double set it. I don't remember anyone calling this serve the Mary Suki serve, but hey, <laughs> it's called the Mary Suki serve now, apparently. Okay, so a couple more for your boys. Okay. I don't really, it's a fun serve, I'm not gonna lie, like, but I don't think I personally would be using the serve in a match, because just because it has a high chance to hit the net. Because of how weird you have to aim this serve, I'd highly recommend going with other serve options uh, in a scrim, unless you're really good at this serve and you can hit it every single time. Um, yeah, I, I reckon like stuff like Kiro's would be better than this serve. Uh, I guess Mary Jane's dive serves as well, so you would dive. Those serves would be better because you. You don't know where you're aiming. Let me know if you want to see a tutorial on this serve, by the way. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you found this insightful in any single way, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to this channel for some more volleyball and just gaming content in general. I'll be posting let my Let's Plays and stuff in between as well. But, um... I'll leave it off with some replays and then I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.